Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spathy tutorial series. In this video, we are going to start our pipe routing. First of all, we will see the pipe. This is the pipe which we are going to route today. 80B7. Okay. This pipe is connected to this and to nozzle of this equipment P1302A and N1 nozzle of B1201. Okay, this is a straight pipe. We will go to software, click on this plant, click on midtech unit, click on OK. After clicking OK, click on this file option, go to define workspace, drop down, click on more, select the filter which we have created in previous video, click on OK. After clicking OK, All the equipments and structure what we have created will be shown. Click on this fit to zoom. Now our structure is okay. Click on this common views. Select this. Okay. Now for creating our pipe routing, first of all, what will we do? We will hide our structure event. Right click, click on select nested. Then right click, click on hide. Now this is hidden. Now this is our drum. Click on this. Go to task. Equipment and furnish. Okay. And this. This is the drum. And in this drum. This is the N1 nozzle. Okay. We need to connect this only. B1201 N1 nozzle. And second is this one. In this N2 nozzle is this. We need to connect this N2 nozzle. Okay. Now we can see that these are not aligned. First of all, we need to align this. So we need to move the position of both these. So I will hide the other equipment. This is second condenser. This is second tower. Right click, click on hide. And pumps also we will hide. Right click, just select. Also, right click, click on height. We will move these two. Okay, for that, first of all, we need to check the dimension. Okay. For this, uh, click on this nether tool, click at the top, and click at here. Okay, we can see that this value is 0, not value is 305. So, we need to subtract not from this. Okay, we will move this. We can move this also towards this side and we can move this towards this side also. Okay. We are moving this towards outside. For that, click on this equipment. Go to properties. In this property, drop down the category, position and orientation. Here we need to decrease the north. Okay. In this we will select the dot value. It is 294460. We will calculate it. 294460 minus 305. That would be 294155. Okay. Click on apply. You can see this. Click on OK. Now measure this, this, and this. Now the north value is also 0. Now it is correct only. Okay. For this also, we will do like this only. Select the condenser. Click on the properties. Go to properties. Go to standard. Position and orientation. And also we will change this to 155. Click on apply, click OK. Now position is OK. Now we will create pipe. OK. For creating pipe, in this piping unit we will create pipe. Go to this task, in this go to piping. In this piping, Click on this arrow, 
drop down this and click on all. After clicking all, go to this piping unit, right click, new system, we will create new piping system. Okay, in this piping system, we will give the name piping only. Click on OK. Expand this after in this piping. Right click again, new system. Click on new pipeline. Okay. Now we will give the name of the pipeline here. Okay. You can see what is the name of pipeline 80 B7. Okay. Click on OK. Now for creating a pipe, what will you do? This is the option. Insert component, click on this and we can click on this one. Okay. First of all, we will see the properties of this nozzle. Okay. For this, click on this. Okay. And one nozzle is there. Click on this. This is all only. Right click, click on this properties. See the properties. The size is 80 mm, that is 3 inch and class is 300. You can cancel it. Click on this also, right click, go to properties. Here also, size is 80 mm, that is 3 inch and class is 300. Okay, click on it. Now, what will you do? Drop down this, in this go to piping features. Now, click on this option again, insert component. Click on this nozzle, N1 nozzle. In this, click the pipeline, click on more, expand this area, expand this unit, piping unit, click on this pipeline, 80 B7, click on OK. Give the name, any name you can give. Okay. Now, this is the specification. Okay. Drop down this. This 1C0031 is for 150 rating and 2C0032 is for 300 rating. So, the rating of this nozzle is 300. So we will click on this and this is the size, we have to change the size, size to 3 inch, click on 3 inch, now this is the, okay, we are giving this name P1, okay. After this, drop down this category, go to temperature and pressure, now we need to mention some properties here, okay, for now we don't have any temperature and pressure, so we will give this 0 and give maximum pressure also 0, for now click on OK, after clicking OK, click on this, under type, click on this flange option, after clicking flange, here one flange will be shown, ok, click on finish, ok, now this flange is there, click anywhere on the screen, now we are exited from this, Right click. Okay. Now we need to do the routing. For routing, this is the option. Root pipe, click on this. Select this flange. And now what we have to do? We need to connect here. Okay. We can directly also connect here. Okay. First of all, what will you do? Lock the portion with the help of the center mouse button. After that, when this yellow sign will appear, click on. After this, you can see this, this pipeline is routed. This is the easiest pipeline which we have routed in this video. You can see that it is connected. Weld, weld is also coming. If routing is incorrect, these weld will not come. Okay, you have to check this also. I hope you understand this video. We will continue pipe routing in our next videos. Till then, thank you.